and good afternoon, good morning, sorry. Um, today we're going to grow cashew nuts, or cashew nuts. Uh, now, I don't know an awful lot about them, but the, the temperature out here is perfect for them. Uh, now, but there is one, the first thing you need to know is that uh, a raw cashew nut is, uh, has high toxins inside in them. So that's why I'm wearing gloves uh, in both hands. Uh, I'm going to steep them in, I have them already in lukewarm water. Uh, you can see them here. Uh, these are not something that I will, uh, I will throw out the water when I'm finished as well. Uh, you don't use, have your kids around when you're doing this. There is high toxins in them, piles and toxins in them. I think mine are a little bit, they say that if they are sink to the bottom, then they're viable. Um, if they're floating like that one, maybe not. Anyway, I'll put the three of them into, into something. They're down about eight, about eight minutes now in lukewarm water. So uh, I'll get back to you in a few minutes, but uh, just wear the gloves uh, as a precaution, please. We're using 12, it's 12 minutes now and uh, there's still one floating on the top. I'm still going to stick it into the soil uh, to make sure. These are old failure dill that I had that didn't grow. Uh, the soil I'm using, I'm using sand, uh, garden soil, sand and coconut coir. The coconut coir is from our own coconuts, so we don't actually have to buy coconut coir. So I'm mixing that, that all up nicely and I'm going to put them into the pot. I have a few stones in the pot. I always believe in having stuff free draining, so the coconut coir will be great. I think uh, Kashao likes sandy soil, so uh, there's sand in this as well. Uh, the, the coconut coir is, will be good to hold the uh, uh, to hold moisture because sand is uh, notorious for drying out really quick. So, so we you know, we try and strike the balance. Okay, so and. We, there's not a lot, there's, this is, uh, there's one thing I do know about cashew, they, they like warm weather. <laughs> so, <laughs> our biggest problem here is trying to keep things cool. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to take the bad one first. No, I'm going to take the good one first. Uh, now, do you see the, this end? I think they're still a bit fresh, but anyway, I'm going to push it uh, down into, uh, into the soil, and then I'm going to top it off like that. Um, and the other good one, and push it down like that. Not too, not too tight. Now the one, the one that's floating on the top, which some of them say may not be viable. Maybe none of them are viable. But anyway, so I'm just going to top them off like that. And I don't know whether to put them outside or inside. What you're meant to do with them. Maybe I'll put a cover on top of them to keep the heat into them, or keep, sorry, keep the humidity high in them. Uh, uh, they say you should, I'm going to, I'm going to throw away, I, I don't know enough about these, so I'm going to throw them away, uh, these gloves, and I, I'm not sure about this Tupperware thing, I'll probably throw it away as well, because uh, I just don't know enough, I just don't know that there is high, high toxins in them. So we're going to bring them outside here now. And put them in an area where a shady, shading hot area, where I like to put my things before we. That's where my herbs are growing there and see from seed. Some some successful, some not so. Some of them got burned. So I'm going to water them in then, and I'm going to wait uh, for I don't know how long. Uh, it's probably too hot. I'll get some rainwater, rainwater in this one. We haven't had any rain for a week, so I don't have much rainwater left in our collection system there. Got another bit here. Uh, it did rain a little bit last night because this filled up here. So the ground was, uh, concrete was dry this morning, but road was dry but here in the Philippines after it rains it's dry so quickly afterwards so now what am I going to do with these mm, I don't know uh, I'll probably put a cover on them 
just to keep the humidity into them. I've got a good, good wet in there. And normally when I do seeds, I don't water them anymore. I just keep them covered. Uh, I might change my mind on this one now, but uh, so we're going to put them there, and I'll get back to you later on after <laughs> after if they come up. But I'm having fairly good luck with seeds lately, so I'll put three of these uh, things on top of them. I forget which one was the one that was supposed to be non-viable. Anyway, I put these on because these keep will keep the humidity high inside them, and the temperature will be fine. Here, just stay here get not, not not too much sun, but get some sun. Uh, it's shaded by the coconut here, the golden king coconut. Uh, the golden king coconut. Do you see them? They're yellow and orange. They're never green to start off yellow and to go into more orange colour. Uh, they're from Sri Lanka originally, as far as I know. Uh, so we'll get back to this, uh, and I won't make an, I'll make it all in one video. I think. Okay, now it's exactly uh, it's exactly 12 days. Well, in a few hours' time it'll be, and uh, we have our first one coming up. Here's our tree here. Don't mind Dill written in the side over a little bit of failure. This one is almost up. You can see the hump in it. This one came up during the night, so it would be 11 and a half days then. And there seems to be a bulge on the one there. That's probably be the non-viable one. But in any case, now they came up. They take 12 days. There's the shell came off it, and I just remove that and wash your hands then afterwards. And uh, uh, we'll put it in. We'll give it a little bit of morning sun now because it's sunny every morning here. We'll just leave it here. Put it here on top of the workshop. So uh, that's a uh, here. No shelf here. So uh, that's uh, that's uh, cashew nuts uh, uh, in 12 days uh, with safety. Uh, used it, loves. Why not? Uh, uh, please subscribe. You know I need subscribers. Just uh, click the subscribe button down wherever it is down there. 